revolution. Look, Marquez, on standby. Log online. Fan page loaded and ready. Player stats loaded. Health check. Go. Weapons check. Ice check. Complete. We have launch for the informant podcast in five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Informant Podcast, your new source for information regarding Mafia Wars from Zynga. Um, Pistol Pete from Spockholm. Live long and prosper. And tonight I have with me Chainsaw Chester, Jana, Death by Gucci, and Jennifer, the Mafia Wars loot lady. All right, so how's everybody doing tonight? Very nice. Very good. nice. Very good. Very good. How about you? Uh, wondering where Chester is as usual. <laughs> I know it's not. There's no game. He needs tonight. to be here because I have something fun to tell him. Uh, and I want maybe his it's hockey. <laughs> He's moved on. No, wasn't it like uh, cricket or something? He was moving yeah, on to a or, completely yeah. another sport now. Or curling or something. Curling. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that uh-huh. ought to be fun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. You know, and there hasn't uh, for me. There hasn't been a lot going on. I'm just busy as usual it's that time of year but that's that's my story sticking to it mm-hmm. getting getting geared up for my brother's wedding that'll be the big trip i'm doing this summer so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing pictures although we didn't see yeah. bachelor party pictures did we well because yeah. you don't take bachelor party pictures yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, I and, see. and there'll be reasons for that anyway <laughs> uh, you saw the movie the hangover <laughs> That's right. Okay, yeah. well, wedding them pictures. The phone after they saw him. Uh, yeah, I don't even know <laughs> if they made it on the phone for. <laughs> it's probably for the best. To protect the innocent. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or not so innocent. So. Yeah. Anyway, mm. well, we have uh, with us a, a special guest. A couple shows back, my my son came on and talked about the Love Is Louder project. The gentleman whose music was played in the background is Cameron Ernst, and we have him with us tonight. And we're going to talk with him a little bit about a project that he's got going on to sort of extend what he's been doing with with that particular project. And then um, it's done with the Pepsi Refresh. Oh, awesome. And so I'd, I'd like to welcome Cameron Ernst and have him Hi, come Cameron. in here. And, hey, Cameron. Hi, Cameron. How's it going, guys? Good. Thanks for having me. Great. Thanks for coming. Well, tell us a little bit about the uh, how you f- you first picked up on the, the Love is Louder initiative, because that was, wasn't it Brittany Snow? Is that correct? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the, Brittany and, Snow. And the Jed Foundation. Right. Brittany Snow um, started Love is Louder with the Jet Foundation, um, which is out of New York, along with MTV. Well, Love is Letter exists as a social network movement. It's all on Facebook and Twitter. And, and the signature thing is to write Love is Letter in your hand and put it as your profile picture and, um, and let other people know that you support the movement that way. And also that you're not alone in struggling with uh, bullying or loneliness or fear or pain or really whatever it is uh, you're going through. And um, so that's kind of how it started. I found out about it because my friend just tweeted about it. And so I did some research and found out that Brittany had started it. And I was just really inspired that a celebrity would use her voice in this way. And it just really uh, hit me. I, I don't know. I've always, I've always felt like I've been loved growing up with my parents and in school. And just to know that other people don't feel loved um, and, and feel alone in school, it just breaks my heart to hear those stories of of kids even taking their lives sometimes, uh, like we've heard so much in the headlines. So I know. Um, so I, uh, I'm a singer songwriter out of Dallas and just decided to, uh, write a song about this. It just kind of poured out of me and, uh, wrote this song called love is louder, put it out there to, to love is louder. And they tweeted about it and Facebook about it. And then it kind of just went from there. My friend was like, you should take this song into schools. And I really had no idea what that would look like. So I took it into a, into a high school and it was just incredible how kids reacted to this, this message of love and how positive the assembly was. And it was an assembly with music and this message. So I think, you know, that just kids getting this, they, they don't get that every day. So That's awesome. Beginning of May, I went to Peter's school, which 
I know you guys heard from Peter. What well, it's been? What a month or so now? Been about that, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, you inspired him. Yeah, he did a great job. We were so proud of him. Oh my gosh, I was so inspired to hear what he had to say and just the takeaway that he got from that. And and you know, at every school, there's going to be people who, I mean, anywhere in life, I'm sure you guys know, there's people that are going to you know hate on what you're doing or just kind of bring it down or just to hear that he you know he heard that feedback, but he despite it. He still stood strong with the message, and I love the the metaphor he used of um, you know they're trying to bring out bring hate and and, and put it in, but you got to bring it, put love on the megaphone. And it was I was just super inspired that he he took that away, and that's that's what I hope to do is just kind of leave this message with kids and for them to to use it in whatever way they want. You know, what well, obviously and, left a huge impact on him. So sounds like you're doing a great job. That's, that's super cool to hear. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm just going to schools now and taking this this method along with music. Uh, like Peter was just saying, I I uh, I'm in the Pepsi project, which have you, you guys know about the Pepsi project? The Pepsi refresh. We mm-hmm. did a segment. I wish Chester was here a while back about what was it? The San Filippo uh, disease, and they were using the Pepsi refresh project to try to raise those dollars. Right. Yeah. It's um. I'm under the education category, which I do feel like it is. I, I was debating whether to go arts or education, but I feel like it's more informing kids on this and inspiring them, like informing them about you know bullying and and just that that hot topic right now in the news, but also inspiring them and and showing them how love and raising the volume for love can put an end to bullying. So I'm taking Love on the Road, which is what I'm calling the tour. I'm taking Love on the Road this fall. And that that is what um, I'm going for, $10,000 grant. So that's the category I'm in. But you can go online and vote. Um, It's refresheverything.com slash love on the road. You can text, you can vote through your Facebook. Um, There's a lot of ways you can vote. And so, yeah, I would, I would appreciate everyone's support. That would be, that'd be great for that. Um, and we can put a link up to that on our page too. Yeah. To send people that and way. And it's very timely. I mean, there, there's federal legislation regarding bullying. Mm-hmm. So there's been a big push to try to get more and more awareness about bullying in the schools. And obviously you see it all over the television and everything nowadays. Oh, yeah. In the commercials and so on. Well, it's about time. Well, we see it. Yeah, in game. Uh, I agree. Yeah, we see a lot of bullying tactics and a lot go of on, hate. even a lot of it. So people get. Yeah, I was gonna about. ask what what kind of because I, I when I listened to that podcast when when Peter was on, I I heard you guys say that. What what kind of bullying do you guys see in your game in the online world? <laughs> Some of it gets downright nasty and dirty. Oh, it's a <laughs> definite mean, uh, soap opera. Je, je, yeah, yeah, Jen. Jen just recently had a run-in with several people that, I mean, they, they basically started personal assaults. And are these, do you know if these are adults or are they high school uh, kids No, or? most of them are well, adults, which is adults, the disappointing. They, uh, yeah, sadly. <laughs> sadly, they are adults as far as we know. Yeah. They don't act yeah. like it. I think what's so interesting and, and why bullying is in the headlines right now is because it is so relatable. I mean, whether you were affected by it when you were growing up um, or whether you were affected by it right now. I mean, it, it exists in the working world, in the real world. It's, it's outside of high school. And if you guys do know, or if there are any listeners out there who um, are connected with schools, um, like I said, I am booking my um, fall tour. If, if uh, you're connected to a high school or middle school, I would say those are the two audiences that I've, I've really gotten the best reaction from so far. And if you're connected to, to a school like that, I'd love to hear from you. And you can email love at CameronErnst.com. Sounds awesome. great. We're so done. your EP was Focus on the Road? Yeah. Yeah, my EP that I just finished is Focus on the Road. And Love is Louder is on that. Um, but you can also download Love is Louder for free online, which... Uh, on correct. iTunes? Or, okay. No, just go to uh, well, his website, iTunes, CameronErnst.com. Yeah. Okay. If you go to CameronErnst.com, there's a link. Awesome. Well, we're going to put some links up on our page, too, so people can find you that way. You kind of look like a young uh, John Mayer there. Hey, that works. Uh, What did you say? I look like him? Yeah, well, yeah, you look like a a younger John Mayer. Well, uh, definitely keep us posted on how the Pepsi refresh goes. Yeah, and we'll get the word out about that and see what we can help you with. Yeah, and anything we can ever do to help, just uh, let us know. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Keep spreading the love and Mafia Wars. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Always do. What's going on in Spockholm? Well, uh, we've had a couple of mini sp- Spocklets that have come out. We've got our um, 
remove Facebook friends, Spocklet that's out there now. How's uh, your assassinator going? Because I'm getting a lot of messages from people. Yeah, that are people that. Are everybody excited. wants to test it. Everybody um, wants to test it. Yeah. What the hell is a It's not as fun as it sounds. It, it's not for you, Tester. <laughs> It's definitely is it one not. of them scripty things you guys use yeah. again? What, yeah. do you, what do you call them things? Bocklets or scripty scripts things? or something? Yeah. The, yeah, yeah, Assassinator is the next generation of what was our Attack X. Um, mm. An Attack X used to be you can only fight one target and you are basically fight them till they were blue in the face, which worked out perfect in the early days of, of Mafia Wars when you could get loot from icing and so on and so forth. But when they pulled all that, that bookmark kind of got shelved and was never used again. And recently, in light of changes that took place, Martin had always been toying with the idea of resurrecting the Attack X or whatever the next version was going to be. And so he had spent some time and put together the Assassinator. So the idea is that that's going to be the new fighting bookmarklet for fighting off the fight list. So that's kind of where that one's at. It doesn't. There'll be a lot of features when it when we do release it that are not going to be in it, and then you know it's not going to have specific targets. It's mainly to just pick people off the fight list and fight them. We do have some leveling choices, and you can only you can pick the number of times you want to attack a person. Will you eventually have it changed to where you can pick where you heal? I think right now it's set up to only heal in the city you're in, or it's only yeah. to heal in New York. I can't remember. I think it's only New York. Yeah. Yeah. Which is fine because most of us spend all the money in New York anyway. Right. I you're... still need my achievement. <laughs> Unless you're saving for your achievement. <laughs> we all do. Um, and I keep banking my money by mistake. It's driving me crazy. Yep. I know. It's going to be a never ending achievement. Yep. I'll never get, get it. Give up. You know, Jen does a great job of, of documenting a lot of these scripts that we put out there for the general populace so i mean obviously you can hit our block we obviously fixed up like a boss to support the new raven and that's um got yeah. the combos in it one of the things we're looking at doing is possibly a drag and drop option in the like a boss so that when a new boss comes out and you figure out the combos you can basically drag and drop your own combination that you want to use and then nice. go ahead and use it to repeat the attacks well, that'll so, make it easier for you guys. Too, right, because then we won't have to update it all the time. Yeah. Or we can update it after. There wouldn't be a rush to get it updated because people can put in their own combos until we can go in and add that there's a brand new combo for this particular boss. Okay, and uh -huh. then I think that's it because there's going to be a ton of stuff I know Jen's going to have to cover. I'll let you take it over, Jen. Fill them in. Well, we all know that we got a new boss fight, the Raven, and he looks cool and all. And he came out, and then he disappeared. And a lot of players, if you're online when a new feature comes out, you're going to try to do it right away and finish what you can. Well, come to find out it was released early. And then those players that had started it had lost their progress and consumables. I don't know about everybody, but most of the people I talked to did. So customer support was told that the most they could compensate anyone was 10 reward points. And that upset a lot of people, but they calmed down and got over it. So their new gimmick, and this is so ridiculous, and I know you're going to hate it, Pete, is that he's not just there like, oh, hey, we have a new event. Here's the boss fight on your homepage module. You have to actually activate him by icing people. And that's fine. But what Zynga failed to do was, like, give a definitive towards this. It's completely random. And I don't know about you, but when there's something random and I'm not getting it, I think something's wrong or something's broke. And I still do. But anyways, you have to fight people and then he'll magically appear on a banner on your fight list. And when that happens, he'll also be on the homepage module. And only at that time can you farm consumables. Yeah. So what's happening is, you know, most people are getting them the first time without problem. But I know of like two or three people that have gotten them a second time. And the rest of us are like, you know, WTF, like what's going on? Just thousands of ices, tons of stamina, no raven. So this is driving people crazy and it wouldn't be as big of a deal had they not implemented two achievements. One you have to fight, well there's three actually, one for beating them once, the second one you have to beat them ten times, 
And the third one, you have to beat them a hundred times. So anytime you slap an achievement on something, people are going to stress out if they don't think they can get it. And, you know, I haven't gotten them a second time. And I know a lot of people are in my boat. And I really think there's something wrong with the drop rate. And Zynga keeps saying it's it was intended to be difficult and challenging and not easy. But I think it's a bit ridiculous. So, you know, I know people who have said they've spent hundreds of thousands of stamina and haven't gotten them. So I think something is wrong there. And I, I really think they should just say, okay, you need to ice 10 people and you'll get them again. 